So you want an online gaming platform that's DRM free? Well, it's on its way. What is up YouTube? It's Ubu the Tech Guru coming straight at ya. How is everybody doing today? I'm doing fan tiddlyastic and today I'm bringing you a bit of information of sorts and it's in relation to DRM free gaming and I'm really excited to see that GOG is coming out with what they're calling Galaxy and it's a service that will let you play games, challenge friends, view achievements, and get automatic updates for your games. It's just like Steam, but without all the DRM. You don't need an internet connection to play games that you've bought from Galaxy, and you can opt out of the community aspects of the service entirely if you just want to play games. So currently, for those of you that aren't aware, GOG is a website, GOG.com, where you know you can buy games and you know they're they're all DRM free it basically means that you actually own the game after you bought it at GOG.com once you download a game you can install it on any computer and re-download it wherever whenever you want as many times as you need so you know DRM free means you know you're not, you're not just buying one license of it you're actually you own the game completely and you can do with whatever you want with it you know that's um, something that I think a lot of Linux users uh, appreciate or want because they're using Linux already you know which is a free open source software free open source operating system man this game I just gotta make a quick note about what's going on in the background this is Sniper Elite version 2, and it was free the other day on Steam. Uh, thanks to my buddy Osiris, he tweeted out that it was free. So, you know, I made sure that I logged on to my Steam account and clicked, you know, that I wanted to buy it. And, um, you know, that was from within Linux. And then, of course, um, once I boot into Windows, I'm able to install the game since it's a Windows only game. But, um, so that's what's playing in the background is Sniper Elite version 2 really fun game uh, much more slower paced than your normal you know kind of first person action shooter game it's more about stealth and and you know you're a sniper so you need to you know be cautious about you know when you run when you don't run when you crouch when you don't crouch and you know things of that nature so this game is is a lot of fun I strongly suggest picking it up if you don't have it already uh, I'm not sure exactly how much it costs because like I said I got it for free the other day on Steam but um, so that's that let's get back to GOG.com so they're coming out with this um, you know like I said they're coming out with this thing called GOG Galaxy and um, you know GOG has pretty much made a name for itself offering the DRM free classic games for sale you know and they're coming out with it later this year and it's you know it looks to be really cool steam alternative but what's really neat about it is that they're also going to be able to it'll be able to interoperate with steam so um, you know it plays nice with steam and other services um, you know so you could possibly compare achievements and see steam friends from inside galaxy uh, you know I'm sure that uh, GOG Galaxy won't start offering the same kinds of AAA titles that Steam, you know, does because everything on GOG is DRM free. But, you know, in a time where there's so few online gaming platforms, Galaxy is a welcome alternative, you know, for um to Steam. So, you know, I'm really looking forward to GOG Galaxy and uh, what it's going to all entail. I mean, I think one of the neatest aspects is that it will interoperate with Steam because, you know, I'll be honest, I kind of like um, in Steam how, you know, I can see my other friends when they're online, when they're gaming, you know, I can send them game invites to join my game, I can join their game, so, um, 
you know, the the fact that it that Galaxy is going to come out is uh, and be able to interoperate with Steam. Uh, another note about the game: I didn't even realize why. Since this is the first time I'm playing the game, I didn't realize that while I'm scoped in, I could actually zoom in with the mouse wheel. See how I'm just shooting, you know, the crosshairs right through his nose, dude. Oh. <laughs> Man, this was during one of my recent live streams, and I just had a blast playing this game. Um, man, the, you can increase the frequency at which it shows, you know, these kind of sniper shot kill cams. So I made sure I increased it, like, all the way up, because I think that's one of the coolest aspects of the game, is, you know, this kind of slow motion showing the bullet damage to the human body, and it's just, <laughs> man, it's it's exciting, I you know, I gotta say. So, um, you know, just a quick short little video today show, talking about this uh, GOG Galaxy and, um, how, you know, DRM free games and the optional community features. What do you guys think about this? Um, you know, is it going to be a good thing? Were you familiar with GOG already? Um, I've used GOG to pick up a few games. Um, right off the top of my head, I forget which ones those were just because I have quite a quite a bit uh, or quite a large game uh, library so I don't exactly remember which game it was but um, let me know down below in the comments you know if you guys use GOG.com and if you're excited for Galaxy and uh, hit that subscribe button if you're new to my channel I have a, a, a wide range of videos that I'm sure you'll be able to find something of interest you know I do uh, various tech type videos try to do them on Tuesdays you know it's a little series I call Tech Tuesdays with Ubu and um, you know other than that I also do some Ubuntu kind of uh, directed tips you know just for little little things that I've found to work uh, within Ubuntu Linux and um, you know leave me a rating let me know what you thought of the video because uh, providing feedback you know for YouTube content creators uh, there's really only you know couple sources for us to be able to understand whether our viewers are liking our videos you know the first one is the rating whether it's a thumbs up or thumbs down you know that's helpful if you do one of those but it you know if you're gonna put a thumbs down then at least please um, along with that add a comment and let it let me know with some constructive criticism what you didn't like about the video and that will be very helpful you know f to me so that I can improve my YouTube content creation, you know, my videos that I created. And that's about all I got for today, guys. So until next time, I'll smell you when I smell you. Ubu out.